Imagine a battlefield where precision and power meet. A place where artillery isn't just about size, but about mobility and devastating impact. In this video, we'll take you back in time to explore one of the most iconic artillery systems of the 20th century, the M110 203mm self-propelled howitzer. This incredible machine was a game-changer in the world of military firepower, offering unmatched mobility, precision, and the ability to launch powerful shells across vast distances. But how did this formidable weapon shape the course of history, and why did it leave such a lasting legacy? Stay with us as we uncover the secrets of the M110 and how it revolutionized artillery warfare. You'll be amazed at its power and the impact it had on military strategy. The M110 203mm self-propelled howitzer was born out of a growing need for a mobile and powerful artillery system during the Cold War. Developed in the early 1960s, the M110 was designed to provide the U.S. Army with long-range fire support that could be quickly deployed on the battlefield. Unlike traditional towed artillery, the M110 self-propelled design allowed it to move swiftly with mechanized infantry and armored units, making it an essential tool for military operations. Built on the M44 chassis, the M110 was a beast of a machine. It weighed around 30 tons, which was impressive for its time. The most striking feature of the M110 was its 203mm, 8-inch gun, which was capable of firing shells at a range of up to 30 kilometers. This made it one of the longest-range artillery pieces in the world at the time. Imagine firing a shell from such a distance and hitting targets with deadly accuracy. This was the true power of the M110. The M110's firepower wasn't just about range. The 203mm gun was capable of firing a variety of ammunition, including high-explosive, he shells, nuclear projectiles, and more specialized rounds. The versatility of the M110 allowed it to engage a wide range of targets, from enemy infantry and artillery positions to tanks and bunkers. The ability to deliver both conventional and nuclear fire support made the M110 a unique and strategic asset in the U.S. Army's arsenal. One of the standout features of the M110 was its mobility. The self-propelled chassis, with its fully rotating turret, gave it the ability to reposition quickly, a vital characteristic in dynamic battlefield situations. Unlike towed artillery, which had to be set up and repositioned by separate vehicles, the M110 could move as part of a mechanized unit, allowing for faster responses and more fluid tactics. This mobility allowed commanders to use the M110 for both offensive and defensive operations. But it wasn't just about moving quickly. The M110 was also designed with survivability in mind. While it wasn't as heavily armored as some tanks, its turret and hull were reinforced to protect the crew from small arms fire and shrapnel. The crew consisted of six men, a driver, commander, gunner, and three loaders. This crew worked in sync to ensure that the M110 could keep firing its powerful shells while remaining mobile on the battlefield. The M110's power and versatility were put to the test in several conflicts, beginning with the Vietnam War. Here, the M110 provided crucial artillery support for U.S. ground troops, often stationed in difficult-to-reach areas. The ability to move the howitzer into position and quickly fire at targets, often hidden deep within dense jungle, was invaluable. The M110 was also used to fire at enemy positions far behind the front lines, disrupting supply routes and command centers. As the Cold War escalated, the M110 was seen as a strategic weapon capable of delivering powerful fire support for large-scale operations. Its ability to fire nuclear projectiles gave it a unique role in deterrence, as the U.S. military could potentially target enemy positions with both conventional and nuclear artillery. The M110 was not just a tool of warfare, it was also a symbol of the immense firepower that the U.S. could wield in the event of global conflict. The Gulf War of the early 1990s saw the M110 in action once again. While it wasn't as prominent as other artillery systems, the M110 provided fire support against Iraqi positions. Its long-range capabilities allowed it to strike enemy targets with precision, helping to soften up positions before the ground assault. Though the M110 was beginning to show its age, it still proved effective in combat. However, by the mid-1990s, the M110 was gradually phased out of active service as newer, more advanced artillery systems like the M109 Paladin took over. The Paladin offered similar mobility and firepower but with more advanced fire control systems, digital targeting, and automated features that allowed for faster and more accurate fire. Despite its retirement, the M110's legacy lived on in the continued development of self-propelled artillery systems. Though the M110 was retired from U.S. service, it found a second life in the hands of allied nations. 
Several countries, including Taiwan, South Korea, and Israel, continued to use the M110 for several years after its decommissioning. Its durability and ability to provide fire support made it an attractive option for military forces around the world. Even after its retirement, the M110's design influenced the development of future artillery systems. The combination of a large caliber gun, self-propelled mobility, and advanced targeting systems became the standard for future self-propelled howitzers. Modern artillery systems owe much of their success to the innovations introduced by the M110, making it a cornerstone in the evolution of artillery. Today, the M110 may be a relic of the past, but its impact on artillery tactics and design cannot be overstated. The lessons learned from the M110 have been carried forward in the design of more modern artillery systems, which continue to evolve in response to the ever-changing demands of modern warfare. Thank you.